Silento's rise to fame was very interesting to 11 year old me. Not because I cared about who Silento was or anything, but because it was the first time I saw someone get called a one hit wonder almost immediately. And of course, people would be right. It's been 7 years since Watch Me came out and Silento hasn't even come close to getting a hit. Nowadays, the thing that Silento is most known for, aside from Watch Me, is the fact that he might have killed his cousin. But what I want to talk about is what this song represents for me. Because I fully believe that this is the song that started the new wave of one hit wonders. Now, you may be asking yourself, what does the new era of one hit wonders even mean? And before I answer that, I guess we need to look at what a one hit wonder is. To me, it's an artist that has a sustained hit and then almost immediately falls off the edge of the earth. The artist carries no fan base, no traction, no sales, no anything. So now that we have kind of an idea of what a one hit wonder is, you might be wondering what's the difference between the new one hit wonder and the typical one hit wonder. So here's an example of a typical one hit wonder song. You know, these songs are fun, you recognize them from the minute they start playing. You can probably sing the song at karaoke night and everybody will recognize it. Nobody's gonna look at you like you're weird. A recent example of this type of song is uh, Feel It Still by Portugal The Man. It was definitely a sustained hit throughout 2017. And odds are that if you see the name Portugal The Man, you will remember this song. That is what I consider to be the usual one hit wonder. Now, the new one hit wonder is what I call the 15 second one hit wonder. Silento wasn't the first one, but he's the one that stands out in my mind. Let's get this straight. The reason why Watch Me became a hit wasn't because people were like, yeah, you gotta listen to this song, it's so good. The only reason why this song blew up was because at the time, people were doing dances on Vine and Silento went, you know what, what if I make a dance song about this? But it wasn't that people cared about Silento. One of the funniest things about this song is this line right here. You are because nobody knew who the fuck he was. And in the following year, I think Silento opened the door for people like these. In this party and these girls looking the same thing. People knew from the gate that these were some one hit wonders. This song was specifically made for people on Vine and middle schoolers. But I'm not gonna lie, if you ask me who made this song, I wouldn't be able to answer. And I know this because I haven't looked up what their name is yet, just so I can make the point that nobody remembers who these guys are. And that is the problem with a 15 second one hit wonder. Whereas in before, at least one hit wonders had the potential to maybe get a second hit right now we live in an era where we know as soon as they come out oh yeah that's a one hit wonder right there however as soon as vine shut down this type of one hit wonders basically disappear but looking back it only lasted for not that long of a time because Lil Nas X would open up the gates again Ain't nobody tell me nothing. now I will say People thought that Lil Nas X might have been a one hit wonder. The difference being that people did care about Lil Nas X, whereas in the other guys, not really. But yeah, because of Old Town Road, a lot of artists started to take note of TikTok, and the 15 second one hit wonder isn't necessarily just for dance trends now. The main reason why these people don't get another hit is because people dead ass only care for those 15 to 30 seconds that you have to offer. This song it simplifies exactly what I mean. You know the hook, which by the way isn't even the artist on the song, it's just a sample, and the hook carries. You might know a little bit of the verses, but that's it. I've been thinking of our future. Do you remember his name? Probably not. I didn't even remember this song. And once those 15 seconds are done, you're on to the next one. And I'm not saying this is a good or bad thing, I'm just saying that, you know, there is a new era of one hit wonderdom in the horizon. But, um, yeah, with that being said, uh, I'ma let the outro roll. Uh, shout out to Yay Dillo. <laughs>